Hello everybody, this is Grandpops. Hey, I'm here to let you know about a nice little utility program I found to keep your cursor locked inside of your game application while you're playing. If you play multi-monitors like I do, this is a handy little device and it'll come in use useful. It's not as complicated as Display Fusion. It doesn't do it much. All it does is one thing and that's keep your cursor locked inside of your game. Now, if you're like me, you, you're playing along on a Molly monitor, you accidentally get outside and you click on a different app and now you, your cursor doesn't work in your game anymore or you pop something up over it, you end up dying or crashing. This is a simple little free tool that'll help you out. Go ahead, go on uh, Google and type in lock cursor tools and download it and go ahead and install it I'm not gonna tell you how to do it you should know how to do it by now okay now I recommend that you set up your display the way you like it bring up your game and all your little peripheral software that you run before you open lock course serves you do not want to have it on automatic startup like in War Thunder, if you got Lock Cursor running, it sometimes recognizes it as a, something it don't like, the anti-cheat in it. It will not let you play the game. So do not start it until after you have the game loaded up on the screen ready to go. Now, once you have it started ready to go, go ahead down on the icon that's on your desktop, right click it. Say open, or you can do double click it, you know, whatever you're liking. Okay, you will see nothing happen. Just go over down on the taskbar to the right, click the up arrow, it might be on the taskbar, and there's the icon. Right click it, go up to set cursor lock area, and then left click that, and you'll get this dialog box that pops up right there in the middle of the screen okay you got three three different settings user defined that means you can define how big a box you want on the screen to lock your cursor at you know you do, do, I'm sure there's a use for it or you can lock it to monitors I usually just use the, the Windows application I want to lock it to so I click on the slider bar says Windows application. I go down here and say select application. And anything you got running comes up. I want to lock the cursor onto War Thunder. So I click on War Thunder. It comes up in the box here. I say OK. That's all there is to it. Now, if you notice, right now I can slide my cursor off of War Thunder onto Discord. All the way across the Discord, back over to OBS, just like normal. Now, when I'm going to play it, I click on the War Thunder, and I use Control alt c That's a hotkey you can set up. And now, when I play in the game, if you notice, here's my cursor. I cannot get off War Thunder into the other apps. So it's impossible for me while I'm playing this game to get into another app and click on something that I shouldn't have clicked. And if you do want to get off of it, just use your hotkey, in my case, Control alt c and bam, you can get right off of it and go do whatever you gotta do, come back in, Control alt c and bam, you're locked out again. Actually, you don't even have to be on the program to get back in. I'm going to control alt c so I can go over. Now, my cursor is way over here in Streamlabs. If I control alt c while I'm in Streamlabs, bam, it puts it all the way back over into War Thunder and locks it so I can't get out of it. Real simple. It does the job quite nice. So if that's what you're looking for, just to keep your cursor in the game while you're playing, this app will work for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, subscribe. Give me a like at least. Talk to you again. Bye-bye.